Ananias Pius was born in 86 AD. He saw the rise of the Nerva Antoine dynasty after the assassination of Domitian. He was a senator and was well-connected and well-liked. This would automatically give him a boost with the Senate, who was really happy with him uh, because he was a senator and he was just uh, really popular with the Senate. Also, the legions were happy because he, he didn't just pay him off like Domitian or abandoned territory like Hadrian. He would actually conquer some stuff like Caledonia and putting down revolts. He continued Trajan's and Hadrian's policy of keeping the coffers full and having good economic policy in general. Uh, so let's talk about why he was popular with the legions. The annexation of Caledonia. This would be really until Septimius Severus expanded a little bit, the last time uh, they would ever really expand. They would also ex uh, expand, uh, this would be the last time they ever expanded into Britain again. So while he annexed Caledonia, he built the Antoine Wall. Uh, as you can see on the map, between Hadrian and Antonine Wall, that's the province of Caledonia. And uh, it expanded, and it was just a wall not as good as Hadrian's. But it's still a wall. He then put down a small Dacian revolt. Uh, really not that big of a deal. But you gotta think, this wasn't that too long after uh, the uh, Dastanix Dacia. But this would just further create stability in the region. Then put down a small Mauritanian revolt. And this, this would also happen. It would spread to Egypt a little bit. This would also be put down. Uh, and then there was also... Another revolt, uh, there's a small Acacian and Judean revolt. The Ju uh, Acacian is the island down there on Greece. Another thing why he was really popular was his reform legislation. It made water easier to access to, gave slaves some rights, and was overall really popular with women people due to this too. So let's talk. Was Ananias Pius a good emperor? Overall, I put him A tier. Largely continuing Hadrian's policies, uh, but was really much better with the Senate and, and uh, Senate and Army legions. Um, there's also some things. I mean, he's not as much as a builder as Hadrian, which is primarily why Hadrian is known. And Hadrian is usually considered to be the better emperor just because of the extent of building he did. But Ananias Pius was a worthy successor. Please subscribe. This is the end of the video. Goodbye.